After applying for removal of conditions, the processing time is typically very long. It can take as long as two years to process your I-751 application. And during that time, you may have to travel overseas. So in today's video, we're going to talk about traveling with an expired green card after filing your I-751 application. Hi guys, my name is Xenia. I make videos for people who are going through the family immigration process. I'm not an attorney. My videos are based on public information, my own experience, and the experience of my subscribers. And the purpose of my channel is to give you guys the confidence to go through this process completely on your own. So as we said in the beginning, the processing times right now for the I-751 application are extremely long. A lot of applicants end up having to apply for naturalization and even receive their naturalization certificate without ever receiving their 10-year green card. It is understandable if you may have some work worries about traveling overseas with an expired green card, especially because your green card is not only a very important identification document, it is also an important document to allow you back into the US after your foreign travels. So let's talk about general procedures for travel with your expired green card. After you apply for the I-751, your receipt notice for this application will also serve as an extension letter letting you know that your green card is extended currently for 48 more months which means four years this is how long USCIS expects to process the I-751 applications that is horrible but that is another story but I can tell you with confidence that it is perfectly normal to travel with your expired green card as long as you applied for I-751 in a timely manner and you have your extension letter on hand. You will present your expired green card and your extension letter as well as your unexpired passport to the CBP officer once you arrive back in the US. But your arrival in the United States is not the only time you will be asked to present these documents. Very often, you will be asked to present your expired green card, the extension letter, and your passport before you even board the plane that will take you back to the US. You're probably familiar with the strict pre-boarding procedures that typically US-bound airlines will have prior to you boarding the plane. Your documents may be additionally inspected even if you have already presented them when you were registered staring for your flight, but they can also inspect your belongings and even have you take off your shoes again before you reach the gate. So you will notice that during this time, the airline representatives will also check your visas, your passports, etc. to make sure that you are eligible to even board the plane. There's really nothing to worry about. This is a procedure that they are familiar with and the airline attendants will generally have a list of required documentations to look for and they should be familiar with the procedures in your case and also make sure that you bring the original extension letter with you and not a photocopy but these three documents are not the only documents that you may be asked to show i am talking specifically about those of you who either changed their name when applying for a green card and if your name doesn't match the name you have on your passport, which you typically will use to book your flights. In that case, you may have to bring a marriage certificate to show them proof of your name change. Additional documentation may include having to bring birth certificates of your children, to demonstrate that your children are also eligible to travel with you. But that is generally a normal procedure for anyone who is traveling with a minor child. Just make sure that you allocate extra time in your schedule, especially if you have a very short layover, you may not want to waste any time and be present at your gate 
early so that the flight representatives can check your documentation. So there you have it. You have now learned that it is generally a safe method of travel and that thousands of applicants do this every year. I hope that this video eased your stress a little bit. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you found it useful. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I hope to see you guys in my next videos. Bye!